Well, what a moment, Gus, here for Sharon Moore. Congratulations first on the win. To say that this has been a crazy 24 hours for your guys, to win on the road in this environment when there were doubts, Sharon, what does it mean to you? I want to thank the Lord. I want to thank Coach Rumble. I love you, man. I love the shit out of you, man. I'm doing this for you. For this university, the president, our AD. We got the best players, best university, best alumni in the country. Love you guys. These fucking guys right here. These guys right here, man. These guys did it. These guys did it, man. All to him, man. Love you. Thank you, Coach. Like, I mean, the emotion says it all from Sharon Moore, and I know how much you guys look up to him. How proud are you of the way he stepped up to this challenge today? Yeah, I expected nothing less. You know, I expect nothing less from any of my Michigan men. You know, we did this for Michigan, you know? Like, what are you going to do when your back's against the wall? You know, when you feel like everyone against you, what are you going to do? Are you going to cower down? Or oh, I was taught to stand on all 10. You know, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep punching, keep, keep going, keep going. And I mean, I'm so proud of the university. I'm so proud of my guys, the coaches. You know, Coach Harbaugh, this is for you, buddy. You know, I'm, I'm just so proud of my guys, man. You know, we're going to keep going. You know, keep going. You know, everything that's going on right now is just bringing us closer together. You know, I love my team. I praise the God. Well, you had an incredible game. And really, the way Coach Moore used you in the second half, using the run game, your abilities, how would you describe just your ability to rise to the occasion? You know, this is what uh, I was made for. This is what my team was made for. The offensive line, I told them, just fight, man. Push, push, and I'm going to run down here. You know, I'm so proud of Donovan. I'm so proud of the tight ends, JJ. You know, he got dinged up, but he kept fighting, man. This team's full of fighters, you know, and that's what I love about them. You know, that's why I came back. You know, I came, I didn't come back for stats. I didn't come back for touchdowns. I came back for these guys. I came back to win. You know, I'm just so blessed. You know, I'm so blessed. There's still a lot of uncertainty when it comes to you guys and Coach Harbaugh and what will be made of his future for the rest of the season. But you guys have a lot to still accomplish on the road at Maryland. Then you go home for that big one. How do you continue this momentum? And we just got to, you know, be where our feet are, take everything in, and just stay together as one. You know, Coach Harbaugh has instilled in us, you know, what it's like to be a team. You know, we have built the culture at the University of Michigan, and it's a good one. You know, so we just got to be where our feet are. Uh, this guy right here. And just, just keep going. Just keep going. Uh, don't change anything. Be ourselves and love one another. Congratulations. Enjoy. Thank you. Go Blue. Blake Kong, bloody to bruise, playing for his coach, both coaches, Coach Harbaugh at the hotel and Coach Jerome Moore, who stepped in for Jim today and won a big one on the road against the 10th ranked team in the country. JJ, congratulations on this win today. You told me earlier this week it will take everything and everyone to get it done today. How would you describe this overall performance, top to bottom? I mean, how about some Big Ten football? I mean, it was just one for the ages. You know, all credit to Penn State. They're a great football team. But, you know, the boys were looking forward to this since winter. And, you know, just the way the offensive line executed, the running backs executed, the blocks on the outside by the receivers and tight ends. And how about that defense, too? I mean, unbelievable. So it was a fun one. What can you say about just the evaluation of how challenging that pass, pass rush was going to be and then getting it done on the ground? Blake Horm obviously having a day. Just your offensive adjustments, how proud are you of the way you guys finished it? Extremely proud. You know, we knew that Chop and uh, Adisa Isaac were going to be really good at coming up the field and getting around our tackles. But, uh, you know, we just make the adjustments and then we adapt, and that's what we did. There was emotion from Coach Moore. It was pretty moving, to say the least. What can you tell me about your head coach? today um I, I just miss him i miss him even though i saw him last night you know it's just different without his presence on this field and you know no matter what happens i can't wait to get him back i have a feeling he's watching this one he'll have plenty to say for sure yeah i love you coach <laughs> thanks Jake. thank you charles woodson with a message to the world come on flash and see what it's kind of dark i was going to see i was going to do it on my time right yeah. need you to do it michigan yeah. versus everybody <laughs>
And how about this 24-hour run, Charles, for the maize and blue? Uh, it, it starts with chaos and a suspension, and then lawyers get involved. None of it, though, none of it seemed to impact this team on the field today. Big picture-wise, what impressed you about your team? Well, I think, you know, we all played this game. You coached this game, and this game will bring out the emotions out of you, man. Sometimes you don't even expect it to happen, but it just happens because you play in a game like that that takes everything you have. I watched Sharon Moore give that, uh, that speech. I was actually able to go into the locker room and hear him talk to the players when they were about to come back onto the field and feel the passion that he was talking to the players with. And you could tell that those players, they really felt so, man. And they went out there and, and had a tough ball game against Penn State. And listen, Blake Corum got smacked early in the game. Early in the game. And I mean, after a car, Carter put his nose right on Blake Corum. But you could see Blake Corum shook up a little bit. But guess what? He didn't come out of that game because the game meant something to him. These guys knew that everybody was talking about this being their toughest test. And what was Michigan really about? Well, they showed you today. You saw Blake Corbin's face after the game. Bleeding. Dog. Band-aid on his face. Rick Flair Dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What did Rick Flair say? If you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even have a voice right now. I was down there cheering on my team, bringing the passion out of me. I love the game of football. And when you saw Sharon Moore talking, it was about this shirt. Mm -hmm. Everything you talked about that's been going on the last couple of days with Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan program and the sign stealing and all that. We didn't, I steal your stuff. I'm stealing right now because we just came in here and stole a victory out of Happy Valley. And I'm walking out of here happy. You understand me? You hear me, coach? Wow, I hear you. Living it, baby. <laughs> that's, what that's what I'm talking about, baby. It's been 334 more hours. I can't, I can't wait. So a couple things stood out. So